Oh, we're looking a lot more spacey here. Now, I know what you're saying. Isn't that the animation that happens um, when uh, you restart the entire chapter? And you know what I have to say to that? Uh, definitely not. All right. Don't. Okay, wonderful. It's been a while since I've done this, too. Okay, let's just not worry about the fact that I just implied that I've done this before. All right? I definitely haven't. This is the first time I've seen any of this. Crap. Wonderful. I did. I did a lot of this earlier, but I, um... My roommate walked in, and then I tried to go back and redo a lot of it. It just didn't work out. So now I'm back all the way here, right? And I'm honestly glad that I redid this because I was having a very fun time, let's go, with um, some of the stuff that happens a lot later. This is going to be wacky. But yeah. I think I've mentioned... Well, I don't know, because I... Celeste is the, the game that I rant on. So... Okay, wonderful. I could have just not done that, and that would have been fine. Celeste is the game that I rant on, so I think the last time I talked about my roommate, it would have been on the episode of Celeste that I ended up cutting. So, I'm not sure, honestly. But, um, he's not terrible when he's not here. But when he is here, I have some troubles with him in just the way that he decides to live his life. You know? So, he's um, a rather messy fellow, which alone wouldn't be terrible to deal with if he didn't, uh, at one point in time, ask me to clean up after myself, right? And it seems to just be getting worse and worse, the kinds of things that he's willing to just leave around. Like, he spilled some spices right out in front of the fridge. And I was like, dude, <laughs> there's a pile of, of, a very obvious pile of spice on the floor. It looks like Martian dirt. And you're gonna leave this right in front of the fridge. This is shared space, pal. I don't care if you leave like socks and trash around your bed, because I don't walk over there, you know? Um, he's really not all that bad. It's just, I, I, more and more, I'm realizing how much of a slob he is, and it's kind of uh, hard to live with, but I mean, I'm not going to really make any formal complaints because, hey, I have a vacuum cleaner for this specific reason that there are things on the floor sometimes. You know? I feel so stupid. I... Oh. I... I, I actuated the toggle button. And I didn't fix it fast enough. There we go. Here's where the fun begins. Watch this. I go all the way the heck over here, right? Okay, it actually doesn't look all that bad. Don't worry, it starts getting really fun way later. There we go. I'm very good at games. Here's the really... Actually, no, this isn't even the fun part yet. Ho 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 ho! Is this the fun part? No, it's not. So I think once we get to the fun part, you might understand what I'm talking about, and you'll really get why exactly I call it the fun part. Did I do that first try? Dude, I'm Epic Gamer. Holy God. Anybody who refuses to acknowledge my Epic Gamerness is kind of a moron. You know what? You know what I could talk about? I could talk about Osama Ranking. What a nice show. That was not my intention. There we go. All right, I think this is where the fun begins. No, not even close, actually. All right. There we go. Okay, I did not do that fast enough. Oh, it didn't matter. 
Uh, that's kind of nice. I didn't expect it to not matter. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, I was gonna talk about Osama ranking, wasn't I? More like Osoma ranking, ha 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 ha. That's not actually the same language, but you know. So, for one, yes, I watch English subbed. All right, dubbed bad, unless I'm watching something that I had only ever watched dubbed. Like, um, if I weren't reading One Piece, I would watch it dubbed because the subs' voices are too different from the dub that I just don't, it doesn't fit for me, right? Because, like, if I were to make a specific example, the, the subbed Frankie and dubbed Frankie are just two different people, you know? But, um, back to the show I was going to talk about. For one, I don't know what's with me and children's programming. I don't actually know if you can really call it a kid's show, but, um, I would. I mean, look at it. But, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to pull up any visuals of Osama ranking, but... Okay, this is going to suck a lot. But, uh, honestly, go watch it. Go watch Osama ranking. It has my full seal of approval. The bull plays seal of approval. I realize now that I can just dash into the freaking... I can do this. Stuff like that. You know, because the springs give me my dash back. But, um, this show is, like, uh, the first one in a while that can, like, legitimately make me cry multiple times. You know? That doesn't happen all that often. It's just, it's just really nice. You know? Very, very good show. I watched, like, the first three episodes just, um, yesterday. All at once, because I couldn't make myself not watch all three at once. You know? And, um, yeah. I know how fun it is to hear about grown men crying, because, you know, I read Tangerine as a child, but, um, haha, <laughs> I was bawling. Not really, but <laughs> it's close. I was, like, legitimately tearing up and stuff. Because, honestly, I get like that with a lot of specific scenes. I can point them out. I think I've talked on the channel a bit before about the uh, lit this, like, running list I have in my head of, like, scenes in movies and TV shows that make me cry. And it's like, um... God, I think number one is the freaking the ending of the Iron Giant. And, uh... Somewhere up there is, like, the final scene of The Sixth Sense, things like that. So, if you know, you know. If you don't, you're kind of sad. Eek! Ow! Oh. All right, my roommate came in again, so I had to redo uh, this. Definitely wasn't because I just like totally failed really hard on it. All right. But anyways, oh, here's the part I was talking about. So I'm probably just gonna end it here because I have a burning hatred for this. Like I legitimately don't know how to do it right. And that happens, um, I'd say seven out of every 100 times. It doesn't seem to happen all that often, because it kind of doesn't. I hate myself. Let's just play pretend and say that I just got here, alright? Because I've been doing this for probably some 20 odd minutes. And it's the section in this game that I hate the most. Alright? I legitimately have a deep-seated hatred for this at this point. It's the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Alright? There are so many vectors for this to go wrong that I don't see how it was surmised that this was like a good idea. You know? And I mean, I was just doing it wrong before, but it's very easy to do wrong. And very, just like, extremely easy to do in just the wrong way. The way that you will never be able to make properly. You know? And I could, it would be, it would be almost fine and good, you know, if I had some way to look at the whole dang screen, but I don't, for one, so there's that, that little inconsistency. Um, it's a screen that takes up more than the available vision, field of vision, and yet I am not actually able to view the screen before I go out and do it. Yeah. 
Alright, here we go. Come on. Oh, thank god. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm never looking at that again. Why am I... Why did I do that? Why did I do specifically that? Why am I still playing the game? Can I... Can I... No, I can't. Okay. It's fine by me, I guess. Why did I do it that way? Oh, you know... Yeah, let's just save this for next time. I really don't want to play the game anymore. <laughs> Let's just let's look at what we have in store. Is it more BS? I don't see any pufferfish, so no. Oh. Okay. Well, it's a good thing that I looked then. Um, let's not actually save this for later. All right, because that would be stupid. I almost did it. Oh, I may be stupid. Oh, you know what? I probably have to um. Yeah, hold on. I'm getting a better idea of what the game probably wants of me. Of course, that's not gonna work out so swimmingly, but, you know. I can still try. Ah, come on. Do I really have to be facing the right way to grab onto walls? Why would that be the case? Oh, great. I didn't throw the dang thing far enough. Ah! I think that was it. So we're going to just replicate that and, as best as we can, not die this time. Oh, of course I get the direction wrong. Oh, of course I get my directionals messed up at, like, the last thing I do in this entire game. Oh, of course! It'll follow me to the end of the earth, all right? The fact that I can't frickin' do the right directions in the most critical moments in Celeste, all right? It's a game-wide problem that I've never been able to remedy, and I'm yet still here I am at the very end of it. I'm at the end of my fucking life, I swear to God. If there aren't uploads next week, you'll just know that I died mid-October. Late October. It's October 30th right now. Anyways. Here we are, here we are. Come on. Oh my gosh, that was close. Oh, what's the ship doing here? Empty space, yeah, that's like what's between the frickin' ears of the people that made this godforsaken game. What? The bird's still going, of course it is. Wait, no, this can't be the end. Sure it frickin' can! I'm so disappointed. No, I could have started the episode like that. On the next episode of The End of Celeste, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will literally toss you from space down to Earth, and you'll probably break up in the atmosphere. But, you know, just in case you don't, you'll die on impact. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.